Hi, today we're going to be talking about an alignment of the headlight uh, on a Harley Davidson today, uh, but it really stays the same for any type of vehicle. Um, the headlight was provided by uh, Siron Lighting, it's the Beast series. Uh, so the way to do it is we're going to measure uh, the height of the headlight, in this case is 40 inches. We have measured from the back wall over there, 25 foot distance, that's where the uh, the marker here is on the ground. So 25 foot away, what we're supposed to do is that we're supposed to have a 90% height at the upper cutoff of the headlight beam. So that was 40 inches, 90% of that, I've already measured it, it's at 36 inches, the bottom of the blue tape over here. So my headlight beam will stay below this blue line. What I've also done is I've marked an 80% mark of the 40 inch. That's 32 inches, which is where the fog lamps or the passing lamps of the Harley is going to be aimed at. So I'm back over here. I'm going to turn them on and we're going to try. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cover both passing lamps because I want to concentrate on the head pin. using a couple of baseball caps. Works real well. And I'm going to turn on the head pin. And as you can see on the back wall, the headlight beam, the factory setting is way above where it's supposed to be. I've already loosened the bolt that adjusts the uh, alignment. So I'm going to gently move the headlight down to where the upper cutoff of the beam, as you can tell on the back wall, I've moved it down so the upper cutoff is pretty much below the, the blue line. Now that's in the low beam, it's not in the high beam. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, cover the headlight, and as you can see over here, I'm going to use another cap. I'm going to concentrate on the passing lamps. On my left passing lamp, as you can tell, I'm now going to try to concentrate in the cutoff being below the, the black one. Sorry, I'm going to have difficulty covering the headlight. Okay. This passing lamp, I've already adjusted it, and it's pretty much blue, below the, uh, the black line, as you can see on the back wall. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. The one before the setting, which is the right passing lamp, has not been adjusted yet. So I'm going to switch these, and you can see, now look at the back wall, look at the difference. That's where the factory adjustment of this vehicle, of this bike was, and this is where I've adjusted it. Again, I'm going to show you the difference. This is what I've adjusted. You can look on the back wall. This is where my adjustment is now, and this is where the factory setting is. Now, the factory setting, of course, is going to be uh, uh, blasting light of the oncoming traffic, which is not very safe. So, to do that, uh, we're going to provide a link that shows you how to loosen this passing lamp settings, and you can manually, physically lower it and uh, get it at that 80% percent line. So now, covering this passing lamp because that's not been aligned, and the headlight, this is a sort of beam combination you want to have. So I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you one more time. So the headlight is adjusted so as it stays below the blue line, that's a 90% line, and the passing lamp is adjusted so it stays below the 80% line. That easy. We're done.